Hey everyone, Social Nina here. Um, those who know me know that I am all about checklists, tracking things, anything that's gonna make you more productive. So I called on my good friend, Akila the Beast Pitts, to help us learn some tips and tricks on how to use Asana. I'll just let you, her tell you about it. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Akila Pitts, workflow strategist, as well as your friendly neighborhood entrepreneur certified consultant. I create time for female entrepreneurs to be able to do what matters most in their business. And if you don't know this about me by now, I am hashtag Team Asana. And Asana just rolled out this amazing new feature known as Boards. Ah! <laughs> no, seriously, this is epic and really is going to take Asana to the next level in terms of giving their clients and their customers versatility in how they want to manage their projects. Want to find out more? Stay tuned as we go over Asana's new feature known as boards. Let's go. Okay. Now, in order for me to really be able to show you why the Asana Boards feature is so epic, I have to first go over the traditional layout that is inside of Asana. Now, as you can see right now, I'm in the personal project section inside of Asana. The reason being is because the Boards feature is a new feature that they're slowly rolling out to all customers. So in some cases, you may log in and see it right there in your workspace ready to go. But in other accounts, you may only see it in your personal project section right now. But fret not, I did speak with the folks at Asana and it is their goal to have the boards feature rolled out to all of their customers in every workspace by the end of the year. So with that being said, let's get started on what a traditional project looks like inside of Asana. So if you go over here and click on this plus symbol, you put in the project name. For the sake of this, I'm going to do testing. And I hit create project. So you are immediately taken inside of the new project you created. And you can see that by it being highlighted over here. So inside of the testing project, I'm just going to create some sections and create some um, some tasks. So my first section could be to do. And then I could put task one, task two, task three. And then I want to create another section called doing. And then I'll create another section called done. So that whenever I'm working on a task, if it's in my to-do list and I want to start working on it, I can move it to doing at any particular time. So I know that these are the tasks that I'm working on and these are the tasks that I'm left to do. But as you can see by the blue line circling this, this is the task that's highlighted and I can work on it over here. You have the description box. You can assign it, due dates, subtasks, anything that you need, um, comments for co collaboration purposes, add any followers and things like that. It's important that you see this because I'm going to show you exactly how it shows up in the new boards feature as well. And now if I want to laser focus on this specific task when I'm working on it, I just hit the tab X and bam, it's highlighted and I only need to focus on this specific task, okay? So let's go back to this screen. As you can see, this is more of a checklist form. And for some people, especially those who were just starting out with project management systems and are more visual, this layout was just a little too linear for them. Honestly, I usually say that Asana works well with most people who are typically those checklist type people who like that linear type of um, layout when they're working on their projects. But then we have what I like to call the post-it type people. Those people who are very visual and like to see the full landscape 
you know, and have a complete visual eye on everything that's on their plate or that they need to work on. So because Asana did not offer that type of option for them, most people would transition over to a different project management system known as Trello. And I'm going to show you that right now. So this is an example of a Trello board, okay? And I'm going to kind of go over with you exactly how it's laid out as compared to what we just did in Asana. So the board name is similar to what a project name would be in Asana. And you have your different columns here. And this is what the section headers look like in, in Asana. You know how I had to do doing and done? That's how it looks here. And then you break down your specific task. So just to walk you through how that works, you can click here, hit create board. And again, I can create the board as testing. And hit create. Bam, there's the board. And then I can create the lists or the columns. I can call this one to do. I can call the next one doing and I can call the next one done. And you can create as many columns as you want, but for the sake of ex this example, we're just gonna stick with three. So here's your section headers like you had in Asana. Now when you add the cards, these are basically the specific tasks that you're working on. So here's task one, hit enter, task two, hit enter, task three and so forth and so on. So let's say that I wanna work on task number one and I want everybody who's collaborating with me on this project to know that I'm working on it. I would just hold my button down on this task and move it over to the doing column. That's simple, correct? And if I really want to go inside of this task and write notes, add a description, a due date or anything like that, I just click on it. And bam, that opens up. There's my description. I can add any comments, um, put a checklist in there, due date, attachment, all of that's there for me to be able to work on inside of this specific task. So as you can see, everything about this layout is visual. If you're not familiar with this type of layout, it is known as a Kanban board. And this is something that you can Google because it is a very popular term and it's just so happened that Trello is one of the more popular project management systems that uses the Kanban board layout, okay? So now let's go back over to Asana and I'll show you why this is so awesome. Now, this is the traditional layout for Asana, but watch this. If I go to create another project, and you probably saw this already, but if I label this testing two, Look down here. I have the option now of whether or not I want this project to be laid out like a list, like we just went over, or like a board. So if I choose board and hit create, bam, it's a different layout when you go inside of the project. So then you're going to start to see some similarities. Watch this. If I hit add columns, here we go, to do doing done look at that and i could keep going down the line if i want to but there's my three columns just like i had over here in trello okay and then let's talk about adding the tasks so there we hit we have task one task two task three just like we had over in Trello, okay? And once again, if I wanna work on this specific task, all I do is click on it, hold my button down, and move it over to doing. See? And so, let's say I wanna work on this task and go into it and put like my description, my due dates, and all that good stuff. They have a couple icons here where you can add it really quickly, but you can also just click on it and there you go. And one thing that I love about this is that it does not rob us of the traditional layout 
of Asana when you're working inside of a specific task. You still have the ability to assign, add due dates, add any subtask, attachments, descriptions. You can comment here, add any followers. It's all here. So those of us who are used to the traditional layout of Asana, we're not being robbed in any way of the features that we are used to when we open up the task in this board feature okay and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean if I go back over here to the list feature again and then I open it up see it looks the exact same if I do that tab X again it looks the exact same as it did with the other board so you still have the same features that you once had so as you can see whether you are a checklist person or a post-it person this project management system has given you the versatility to decide how you want your projects to lay out. And I will confess to you guys that when I was getting ready to set up my content creation calendar and really pull out my inventory of the things that I wanted to use for like YouTube videos and blog posts and things like that, I was leaning more to my creative visual side. So that's when I was looking at Trello to keep track of the inventory of the stuff that I wanted to create. But now with the amazing feature known as boards, I can do them both all in one system. So if you're anything like me where you don't want to be logging into 15 different systems to get done what you need to get done and you want to streamline your business as much as possible, this is epic because you can decide whether or not you want to have a checklist layout or a Kanban board layout when it comes to how you want to get your projects done and how you and your team best collaborate. So did you find this helpful? Put it in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And if you have any questions about Asana and the new feature known as boards, you could put those in the comments below as well. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Again, this is Akila Pitts, workflow strategist, as well as your friendly neighborhood Entreport certified consultant. Take care. So I hope you guys like those tips. What you could do for me is one, like and subscribe to my channel, but even better, head over to Akila's channel, show her some love, find out what other videos she has for entrepreneurs to help you along your way. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.